Hey, hello, and thank you uh, very much for tuning in. Uh, this is episode two of Olive. So in episode one, we checked how to download Olive. What is Olive for? For editing video, not for VFX, not for audio editing. And now let's just go ahead and explore Olive for a second. Let's go ahead and double click on the icon. And by the way, Olive works on your Mac, your PC, and your Linux computers. So if at any point uh, I say like click the control key and you're on a Mac, just uh, hit command instead of control. So let's open that up and we'll be prompted with this screen. Welcome to Olive. Olive is a free open source video editor released under the uh, GNU GPL. If you have paid for this software, you have been scammed. Thankfully, on the last video, I showed you how to download the software for free, meaning uh, you were not scammed, most likely. This software is currently in alpha, which means it is unstable and very likely to crash. This is not true. Olive is very stable, even though it's in alpha. Uh, have bugs, you can have bugs, have missing features. We offer no warranty to use at your own risk. Please report bugs and feature requests on the site. Thank you for trying Olive and I hope you enjoy. So let's jump straight in and click on OK. So first of all, let's see how we can import a video. OK, so on, last, on the last video, we briefly saw this panel over here is our media or clip uh, section. We have an effects section, a preview section, a timeline and a tools section we can actually go ahead and click on window and we can actually toggle them if i don't like a specific menu i can just get rid of it i can select unselect the media viewer say goodbye to that or i can get rid of the project panel so the project panel is what i refer uh, as the media uh, or clip section if that's actually named the project panel or window and let's say that in the future you just uh, click on a bunch of stuff and you make the software look really weird or you like click on like a thing and you just it somehow gets uh, misrouted don't worry you can go ahead and click on window up above and reset to the default layout okay so let's import a clip you can uh, go ahead and double click on the project menu. This is from my last tutorial. Let's close out of there. You can double click to import or you can right click and then import. Or if you have your files, you can browse your files. I have the this kind of files over here. Let me make them smaller i can also just drag and drop my files since i'm on windows i can click on control on my keyboard if i held control i can select multiple clips so i have selected this one this one let me deselect this one i want to select this one and also this one this one, this one, this one, this one. And why not also bring about this one and this one. Just drag them. I can see here that we have nine items selected. Just drag them into the project panel and they will load up. So Olive, uh, takes a bunch of videos uh, this videos if we right click and hit the properties we'll see that uh, they are MOVs here they are Olive takes MOVs uh, MP3s MP4s there's pretty much no video that Olive will not take so if your video is not compatible with Olive I recommend a different uh, software called Handbrake 
it looks like this. In Handbrake, you can drag and drop a video into it. And you can select a different format. I recommend MP4. In Handbrake, you can just turn a strange format into a format that Olive can take. Okay, a Handbrake uh, tutorial is coming soon. For now, if you just sometimes run into a, pro uh, a clip that you cannot import or use, uh, just take in mind that hand Handbrake uh, is a free program that will solve that for you. So, meaning that with Olive, you can pretty much use any type of videos. Okay, so next, let's go ahead and play around with the clips. We can select the clip, double click on it, and if we double click on it, we see here that something changed over here. This number just changed, the number just changed. So let's go ahead and click on this tab right here. So previously we're, we were on the effects panel, but, but the effects panel refers to the effects from the timeline. And right now we have no timeline. So we're selecting nothing on the timeline and therefore we're selecting no effects from the timeline. Therefore the effects is completely blank. So we can switch from effects to media viewer to preview each clip okay so so far we have just selected a bunch of clips but we have nowhere to place them because we don't have a timeline so what we'll do is we'll create a new timeline a new sequence so I'll just go ahead and right click and let's create a new sequence and this is the part where most of you uh, can't get a uh, confused or lost there's a bunch of numbers that you might not understand like the frame rate aspect, aspect ratio there's a sample rate I have no clue what that is interlacing this can be quite confusing, but in a moment, I'll show you how you can get around that. So on the new sequence, uh, in the new sequence panel, the main thing that you want to do is select a preset. So here you can select if your video will be uh, HD, full HD, 720p, 480p, and so on. There's a bunch of Thanks for more specialized uh, scenarios, but most likely you'll be uploading to YouTube. If you'll be uploading like a video to like YouTube, you can choose either 1080p or 720p. Okay, let me use choose seven. Let me choose. I'm sorry. Let me choose 1080p and let me name the sequence. Let me name it my time line. And now we have a timeline. And now that we have a timeline, you can see that it's now showing up here as my timeline. And we can drag like a clip into our newly created timeline. That's cool. But there is something that you must super keep in mind. Okay? So the timeline, you can see here that it has settings of, of its own. So the timeline has like a frame rate. It says rate 29.97 and it has a dimensions uh, 1920 by 1080, audio, uh, audio frequency and audio layout. And you may see that not all the clips f are the same. For example, this one as audio channels uh, stereo, audio frequency of uh, 48000, and this one has, let me check, 
audio frequency of 480. Okay, so they do match. They have the same audio frequency, the same audio layout, the, the same frame rate, and the same video dimensions. If you compare them, they match. But what happens if one of your clips does not match? Let's say that this clip does not match. If this clip does not match, you will see something like this. If you import a clip that does not match, the video will be smaller because your timeline is this big, but your video is this big. So when you mix them up, because the timeline is bigger, you will see a black screen behind your video. On the other hand, maybe your timeline is too small. Instead of it being too big, maybe your timeline is too small. And when you import a video, it might look like this. And this is because the video is bigger than your timeline. And this can be quite a confusing mess. Uh, in the past, you had to like make sure that all your clips are at the same frame rate, the same height, uh, the same resolution, the same audio, everything. But now Olive uh, makes it easier for you. So instead of just creating a new timeline like this, a new sequence like this, and choosing the settings on your own, because maybe, like, maybe you record with two different cameras and the two different cameras have different settings, it, it will be a, like a super mess. So I recommend just instead of creating a new timeline, you can just choose one video and drag it to the timeline section. And by doing that, Olive will automatically will automatically match the settings for you. Meaning that if you do this, if you just take one video and you drag it, you will never run into a scenario in which the timeline is too small or too big. It will always match. And of course, what I just done, I have go ahead and undo. We, we can undo and redo with those buttons or with your keyboard with uh, control or command a Z. So when you import a clip into the timeline, make sure to straight away switch from media viewer to effects and select the clip. So the main thing that you need to take away right now is what can you edit, what can you change, and what and what can you not change. So on the effects, there's a bunch of numbers, yellow numbers. Everything that is yellow, you can change. You can change the position by clicking on it and selecting a number. Let me type like a number at random and it, it will change that. You can change the volume of the clip. You can like choose a random number and you can change that. You can also pan and choose like a random number and that is now panned. You can also change this number and that way you can edit things. You can also edit this number and it will change everything that is yellow you can edit but let's make something super clear if you click and hold on a yellow text click so let me bring that super close to the microphone so click and hold i have i'm still holding on you can move left to right and you can make the value go up or the value go down. When you release your mouse, that will be done. And there's also a few things that you need to do that you can do. So you can either edit some things just by playing with the numbers by clicking, holding and dragging or you can just go ahead and click on the preview 
and move it around. So the main thing that you need to keep in mind is do not click and hold this point right here. If you move this point, you won't actually move the video. For you to move a video on the preview panel, click anywhere else but the center. You can resize it like this, rotate it like this, move it around like this, and it will always work. But moving this knob at the middle will just make things more difficult for you. So I recommend at the beginning, just don't mess with this thing. Okay, so today we learned how to import clips, uh, but you can import tons of clips. If, if you have a clip that cannot be used by Olive, uh, we learned that Handbrake can fix that for you. And we also learned how to manipulate numbers by clicking and dragging. And there we go. I'll see you in the next tutorial.